Hey everyone, it's Cece. How are you guys? Um, so those of you that are joining me tonight, I hope that you'll make a comment so that I can see you um, because I'm on this particular platform. So it's hard to see to see everyone. So how is your Friday night? Here we are. We can't go out. We can't go to a restaurant. We're supposed to be staying home. And some of my friends are posting these uh, magical drinks that they're making at home. So that's kind of cool. But I, um, you know, being solo, where I'm, uh, I find myself at home alone and thinking, what am I going to do? And so I thought I would share with you tonight some things to do during the coronavirus, where we have to be quarantined and like uh, think, what the heck are we going to do? So this is, um, these are some things that I came across. And um, and so I can't see you. So if unless you make a comment to let me know, um, because I'm not on the live Facebook, I'm actually using the platform that I use for our normal shows. So if you'll just make a comment to let me know that you're watching, that would be awesome. I would appreciate it. So, OK, here we go. I have a list here. So I'm going to read some of the fun things that you guys can do. I did this on another show and I thought it was kind of cool. So I thought maybe I would actually share it with you. I'm going to just pick out some of the things that I think that might be kind of fun to do. One is um, you guys know that I'm very interested in journaling, blogging, things like that. So I think since we're home alone and we're kind of stuck, it's kind of um, it's kind of fun thing to do to actually do a little journaling, a little blogging to kind of, you know, express how you're doing, what you're going through, you know, those kind of things. And, um, and sometimes it steps out of yourself a little bit, you know, so if you do, if you keep a little journal of what, how you're experiencing things that you're doing, because think about it for a minute. I know what we're going through now. We have to live in the moment. A lot of us are feeling anxiety and, and things like that. And the fear of the unknown of what's going to happen. But we, we are like, we're in history, right? We're setting history here. What people are going to look back on, what we're experiencing here, we're creating a shift. And uh, thanks for making a comment here. I appreciate the Hey, Sally, how you doing there? But, the, you know, we're, we're creating, we're creating history here today. And so I think how we deal with it today and things that we experience and stuff that we go through, let's write it down. Let's journal it. Like you go to the grocery store and there's no meat and there's no milk and there's no this and there's no that. People are going to look back on this and they're going to say, wow, I can't believe you went through that. Look at like the depression, things like that. I remember stories where my family said that they, they actually had a great deal of money and they had a huge, huge home. And they found that in the depression, they didn't know what they were going to do. The banks closed. They lost their money. Um, and so they had this big, huge house. So they created, uh, you know, rooms and uh, rented out the rooms and do uh, like a bed and breakfast type of thing. And so that's how my family got through the depression was through things like that, standing in line for food and and thing and bread and cheese and things like that and um, so going from you know being very wealthy to standing in line for food is a real wake up call and i think a lot of us are out there hitting the grocery stores thinking we don't have toilet paper and you know who would have ever thought and dreamt that we wouldn't have toilet paper today so I think writing these down, creating a journal, making these kind of memories, because it's going to change. Things are going to get better. Things are going to improve. But it'll be kind of cool to be able to look at some of these times and things that we've actually experienced. So that's one thing that you could actually do. Um, the other thing is dust off an old instrument. You know, something, how many people, I have a lot of friends that want to play the guitar. they got a guitar it's sitting in the corner and it's got dust on it. Well, now is a great time to be be able to start learning how to play some of those instruments so wake up your neighbors you know get on that saxophone and start playing that instrument and learning how to play the music and uh, create some joy in your life a little bit I think that would be fun this is really funny and I said this on the other show that I did text all your exes just in case you have one more thing you wanted to get off your chest I thought that was a hoot so if you've got any exes out there that you 
want to get something off your your chest, text them. Text them and let them know what it is. But um, I don't know if that's really a good thing to do. But I thought it was really a funny thing to do. So that is something that you could do if you so choose to do. Um, the other thing is write, write some poetry. You know, be creative a little bit. Um, you could do some arts and crafts. You could do some painting. You could do a honeydew list around the house. Things that you need to have done. You can actually go out and plant a garden, work in your yard, plant flowers, trim your bushes, things like that. Getting out in the fresh air is probably really very good for you. So that's something that's kind of fun to do. You can binge watch, of course, all Netflix, of course, Netflix and um, Hulu and some of those other shows, other um, streaming devices. Although I will say to you that I have heard that they may very well have trouble with everyone going on and streaming all at one time. So be, be prepared for that if there's a little bit of problem with the streaming on that. So, oh, Sally, you're so sweet. Thank you. You guys, I can't tell if you're out there listening. So if you would please make a comment to let me know that you're listening, I would appreciate it. Um, that would be fun. It would be fun to do. I, I just thought I'm here by myself here Friday night. Normally I have the divorce support meeting. I was going to do one online, but nobody came online. So I thought, well, what can we do? Okay, here's another one is meditate. How, how many people out there meditate? I don't know if you do it or not, but meditation is very, very good for you. And, and it really lowers um, a lot of stress. It lowers, um, um, you know, a lot of things that you're going on, you know, blood pressure, things like that. So to, to meditate, it's very, very important to do that. So what you want to do is you want to try laying down with your eyes closed, with your palms up while so it's a try laying down with your eyes closed, your palms up while focusing on your breathing. So you want to focus on the breaths that you take. You spend about 20 minutes doing this. Now they say lie down. How can you lie down with your legs crossed? But I think if you want to lie down or if you want to do sit up with your legs crossed. But what you want to do is you want to concentrate on your breathing. You want to concentrate on the the the, uh, the breaths that you take, the soothing sounds that go up and you know up and down within your chest to, to be able to breathe. And you want to do this for about twenty minutes into a very peaceful, um, you know, a pe very peaceful area in your house or or maybe outside and in, in the garden or something like that. It, it's really a nice calming effect for those who are under a great deal of stress. Um, with regards to that. Oh, Sally, you do that. That's great. I'm glad that you do that meditation because I think that's very, very important. You know, something else I do every day is I give thanks. I give thanks every day for all the goodness that happens in my life and um, and my wonderful friends that I have, the, you know, the things that I've been able to experience in my life, this wonderful platform that we're able to share with each other. So every morning when I give up, get up in the morning before I do anything else, I give I give thanks for all that I have. And, um, and I think that that is really, truly a, a wonderful thing to do. So we, even though in times of crisis, we want to be thankful for what we do have. And uh, I, I think that's, um, that's an abundance of things. Another thing is said to um, look at pictures of puppies and kittens and animals, things that make you happy. Um, so that takes your mind off of what's happening. You want to live in the moment. So you want to look at things that really bring you joy and happiness. So there's a lot of videos on YouTube with animals and things like that. That's very, very fun fun to do. Now is a great time to clean, you know, clean your um, closets out, clean your cupboards, rearrange th things. You're stuck at home. So why not do that? Give your kids chores to be able to start cleaning out their toy box and things like that to try to reorganize things. Um, being able to, you know, maybe start giving them things away to charity or whatever when um, when it's better to, to do so, uh, you can do that. So it's a great time to be able to clean out stuff and things like that. Um, learn something new, something that you've been wanting to do. You could take a course online. There's tons of course. Uh, I think it's Udemy and some of those other uh, places that you could go and take a course 
and uh, maybe do something that you've always wanted to do, learn something new. Um, the thing is, is when we're um, when we're using our brain and our, our minds, when we're doing something different, when we're learning something that's very new, that's something that's a little challenging for us, it really keeps us moving and going and doing different things. It keeps our minds going, our active. Um, I look like crap today, don't I? But I'm sorry about that. But um, but it keeps us real. It keeps us alive and vital, right? Keeps our minds going, our hearts going. You know, our, our our uh, energy going and so it's always great to learn something new so that's a that's a really a wonderful thing to do um let's see what else we could do uh <laughs> this is funny it says um have a space in your home where all your tupperware goes organize it and actually match the lids to containers how many of you guys have some sort of cupboard i know i have I have like a drawer uh, system, plastic drawer system in my pantry that I put all my plastic wares and stuff. And how many of you guys have containers with no lids or you've got the lids with no containers? Now is a great time to be able to go in there and organize all that to see and get rid of the what you don't need or even use some of those containers for some of your organization. Um, so if you don't have the lids, you could use it in the bathroom. You could use it in other places to be able to organize yourself a little bit. But that is a funny thing to be able to do. Um, let's see what else it is. Uh, some of the things. I Oh, bake. You can bake. Now is a great time to bake. Um, you know, bake some cookies and cakes and things like that. Or if you've been wanting to do something, I know I have always wanted to bake a cake from scratch. So it'd be a great time to bake a cake from scratch. So uh, again, I don't know you're out there. So if you guys would leave a comment, that would be great so that I could, I could know that you're listening. That would be a lot of fun. And I want to thank you guys for listening and, and everything. And if you're like me, I didn't have anything to do tonight. So and I could watch TV, but I thought, shoot, I'm going to probably be watching TV anyhow. So why not come up with some other fun things that we could do together? So that would be kind of neat. I know that um, Kathy and I and Christopher, we're going to get together. We're going to put some uh, chats together so that we can kind of all get together and kind of talk and and uh, talk about some different things going on. And now is a good time to go through how many of you guys have that like that junk drawer, right? That junk pile, that junk drawer that we kind of stuck stuff in. Now's a great time to be able to go through that and get rid of some of that stuff that you don't know. You, you didn't realize that you had. I don't know about you, but I tend to somehow accumulate keys, keys from stuff. I have no idea what it goes to. So I have these keys. So what I do is I put the keys together and then I come up with some sort of craft project to make the, make the keys with. I saw somebody the other day that had like an earring with just a key hanging from it. I mean, it'd be kind of heavy, but, you know, it's kind of something different. But, you know, that would be kind of fun. So organize your junk drawer. Go through some of the stuff and see what you can get rid of. The other thing you can do, ladies, is go through your jewelry. How many of you have got jewelry that needs to be fixed? I have a bunch of stuff that needs to be fixed. And so now is a great time. I bought one of those kits that has like all the little circles and all that kind of stuff that you can fix to repair some of your jewelry. So now is a great time to go through that, go through some of that jewelry, figure out what you want to fix, what you want to get rid of. And um, now is a, a great opportunity to be able to fix some of those things. But don't throw out your jewelry because what you could do is put your jewelry in a bag and in a Ziploc bag. And sometimes you can use the jewelry for like a craft type of project. So that's kind of a cool thing to do. So you could create some sort of craft project using some of your jewelry um, to be able to do that. And I've seen some of those really neat things. Like I saw one time, it was like a, a cross that was made that was um, used by jewelry, old jewelry that had been put on that. And you could put a key on there and you could do different things. So that would be kind of a neat, a neat project to make. So that's something that you could do. Hey, Linda, let me see. Let me show this up here. Um, I have lots of things to do. Shred. Oh, shred all your old mail. That's a perfect one. I can walk you through making. Ooh, how about that? A T-shirt using dyes. Also paint uh, your purse different colors. Read a book. Take a nap. Take a nap is great. Uh, print. Uh, let's see. Print your. 
uh, oh, paint, paint your book, you probably your toenails, I guess, purple, clean out your closets, rearrange your garbage, rearrange your, oh, your garage, <laughs> not your garbage, rearrange your garage, wash your dogs, bake a cake, bake bread, pasta, eat later, that's right, eat later in the day, that's kind of nice, make a silk scarf, boy, that would be kind of cool to make a silk scarf, um, we'll teach you on YouTube, uh, teach you how to make jewelry, lots of things to do. See, I mean, I think sometimes we forget about how creative we are. Linda, that is great. And, you know, Linda, you are creative because I know that you make jewelry and you make wonderful, wonderful things like that. So I think uh, I think that's pretty awesome. Oh, here's um, let's see. I uh, so I'm going to make some masks for the hospital. Wow, that's awesome to be able to make some masks. I I think that's a great idea because we just don't have enough of them. And you know what would be great, Sally, is to make some little ones for the kids. You know, like if you had any kind of uh, cute little material um, for the for the kids to, uh, because I mean, can you imagine? It must be very scary for the children. So if you had like a cute little mask with little dogs on it or something like that, that would be so much, so much more fun for them um, to be able to do that. So yeah, there's so many, there's so many things that you can do. The big thing is just realizing this isn't going to last forever. I uh, take a bubble bath. I haven't had, I haven't taken, I haven't had a bath in ages, but I, I always take showers because I'm always hurry, hurry, hurry. So, you know, take a bubble bath with a glass of wine, a candle, kind of relaxing a little bit. Um, one of my friends they're making tonight, uh, her husband brought her home some, some alcohol. They're making some, I used to call them like signature drinks or something like that. So you could make like a, you know, a fancy drink, a cocktail. That would be kind of fun. Uh, color, you can color in coloring books. A lot of people do for stress. They color a lot. You know, they do those books where you do the coloring. Um, I think we have to also understand there's people out there. Yeah, say, that was a great idea, wasn't it? I know that was fun. I think it was a lot of fun. Um, I know a lot of people are very, very stressed out over this. They're very, they get anxiety. And when this fear starts setting in and, and especially those that who are making transition, those are that are going from a relationship loss or into something like that. And they find themselves alone. And now all of a sudden they're finding, you know, a lot of different things going on. So, I mean, I was pretty stressed out the other day when I realized that I wasn't going to be able to get the food from the grocery store and I end up paying you know, so much more for extra stuff that was much more expensive. I would have never bought, but you know, I, then I realized, you know, you just got to take it the way it comes and just, and just handle it the way it, way it is. And, and it will all shake out in the end. It truly will. Well, everything will be absolutely funny. You know, another thing on here I thought was kind of a good idea was to start documenting some of your uh, history, like going to family members and maybe recording certain, you know, uh, stories and things like that, having them tell you stories and recording them. You could drop those down into a Word document and create uh, paragraphs and, and create a family book for your uh, for your family. I think that would be a wonderful thing to do. Those of you um, have, if you've had the pleasure of listening to my father on one of these shows, he talked about, you know, flying when he was, you know, uh, before he could drive a car, he flew a plane, you know, my grandfather owned an airport. Some of the uh, experiences my dad went through was just amazing. And so I would love to do that. And so I should do that myself is, is actually record some of that stuff and drop it down and make ourselves like a little, um, a little book to be able to have. That would be really cool. Let's see what some of these other fun things that we could do. Um, Let's see, treat yourself. Oh, this says acquire a foam roller and treat yourself to some physical therapy. So I guess you roll the, the roller over you. I don't know. Um, that's kind of a little bit, that's a little strange, I think. But anyhow, there, here it is. Interview your grandparents over the phone, save some of the audio, create a book. Um, Let's see, go over some of your old pictures. Isn't that a kind of fun? How many, how many pictures, like, like some of us, you know, that are a little bit older, they don't have the digital. We have a couple, a bunch of, bunch, I've got a bunch of photos like under my bed, right? Pull out the photos under the bed and start looking at some of those and look at when your kids were little and things that they did and things like that. That would be a fun thing to do. Um, 
<laughs> this one here, it says, have your own wine tasting. Well, that would be really interesting when that you have your own wine tasting. <laughs> have your own wine tasting of that. That would be really, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I would recommend that one. So definitely, if you if I had my own wine tasting event, I don't think I would be doing a show like this. <laughs> it might be more entertaining actually if I did that. That would be funny. But the other thing is clean out your makeup, ladies. How many I have containers in my closet? In my uh, I've got like this little pantry thing in my uh, bathroom, and uh, I have containers of stuff in there like hair things hair barrette things that I don't use that much because I just throw my hair up like this um and I so I've got a bunch of stuff like that to get rid of go through all of our makeup our old makeup and get rid of all of that they're really not good for us so you want to maybe go through some of that again goal planning I think this is a great time for some goal planning we started planning a little bit beginning of the year and I did a show on that. Um, maybe go back and listen to that if you want. But to start doing some goal planning for yourself. That's kind of a cool thing to do. With financial planning, we're doing our taxes now. It really makes a wake-up call on how much money I spent um, at, the, at the year you know, on business and things like that. Uh, that kind of drive me a little bit crazy. So you can go through some of that, look at your finances, look at your, um, look at your dreams, you know, figure out what it is you truly want in life. And, um, you know, especially if we're thinking about dating, things like that, what kind of guy and gal are you really looking for? You know, I think that is important. Believe it or not, the dating sites are really getting hot right now. There people are looking out there, they're wanting to, to connect and, and uh, at least talk on the phone with people because they don't want to be alone. You know, so really kind of figure out, you know, who you want in your life. You know, are you happy with the people that are in your life? And uh, if not, then it, maybe it's time to make some changes. I think this, uh, you know, what's happening to us now really makes us think about life and think, think about things and truly what we want on this one here. Okay, Lindy, if you're listening to this one, Lindy, dye your hair a new color. That's what it says. No one, no one will see you because you're in quarantine. <laughs> so, so you can try a new hair color. How about that? That'd be kind of funny. I love things like this. Um, let's see. Go viral. So you can go viral <laughs> on while you're quarantined. You can do something on TikTok. Has anybody heard of TikTok? I haven't been on TikTok because I kind of think that's a little bit of a younger younger thing, but you could go on TikTok and do something funny and, and uh, be viral on the, on TikTok. So let's see what else we can do. I had gone through some things. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You can go dancing on YouTube. You know, you can go and do like yoga on YouTube. You can get some yoga ones. You can, uh, if you want to learn how to do some dance steps, you could go and watch some video on, on, uh, on YouTube and learn how to do some of the dance steps you can do. Keep yourself active. You can do some exercising on that. You can really have a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with that. Um, and uh, that would that would be a really good thing to do. It says for the guys, you can grow a beard. How about that? So if you have to be quarantined at home, don't shave. Women, don't shave your legs. Have a good time. Just stay home. Chill out. Have some wine. Have a beer. You know, and, and uh, I went to go to uh, um, BJ's today and they were selling a lot of beer there. So, you know, that's one thing you can have a beer and, and uh, relax and enjoy a little bit. Um, let's see. Deep condition your hair, ladies. The good time to deep conditioning on your hair. You could do that. The wax on your hands. You could do that. You could do your nails. I hope. I mean, I was saying today, I hope we're going to have only a couple weeks because I need to go I hope to go get my nails done. So we better be better. Here, Victoria saying some things here. Let's see what Victoria says. Cece, as you know, okay, she teaches yoga, guided meditation. She's offering Zoom classes beginning next week on a donation basis. How about that? It's the simplest way to meditate. This calms the mind and it balances the nervous system by following my guidance. Um, it is said that just one of the yoga 
let's see, session, you will feel that you had four hours of deep breath. Anyone is welcome to join. Hey, make sure you send me that information, Victoria, and I will put it out. And, and if I can, I'll join you on that because I think that would be a lot of fun. You know, I think that would be a great thing to do and it would be um, good for us. I think it would truly, truly be good for us. Meditation is very, very important. And I think that's, uh, I think is a key to release stress. So I, I think Victoria, you're on to something there. So that is really cool. And and uh, yoga is a great way to stay in shape, stretch your um, stretch your muscles. You know, get get because listen, when we are ready, you know, when we are um, when we are when when everything's getting back to normal and we are ready to get out there, we want to be in shape. We we're going to have a new hair color. We're going to have our nails done. We're going to have our makeup all revamped. We're going to make jewelry. We're going to do all this stuff. And so we are going to be hitting it when we can, when they open the doors and they say, okay, Cece, you can hit the market. <laughs> we are going to be out there. We're going to have a great time. So get ready. Okay. That's what we want to do, girls and guys. We want to you know, we want to get ready. So we are, this is our preparation time and we are actually given time to prepare. So if we want to, if we're thinking we want like a guy in our life, a gal in our life, now's the time we can actually spend some time on ourselves and get ready for that. That would be kind of a cool thing to do. So let's see what else we can think of. Any, any, anybody else has got any ideas? Just post it because I can't see you on. So just send me a comment so that I know that you're, um, they're there. Singing. I think singing a song is a great thing to do. You can go again, listen to music. You can sing, you know, belt it out. Let, let your, your, um, your money got no money got reading something else let your voice out and just really enjoy yourself singing because that also releases a lot of stress and a lot of enjoyment dancing music always lightens you up a little bit um uh this one said to donate if you've got if you do find that you're okay financially and you're doing well you know, there are sites on, uh, please make sure that you get a proper one and help some families that are struggling because there are, there are some families that are really going to go through some hard times with this. So if you find that you have some extra funds and you can help someone else, let's help someone else along the way. Let's lift them up. And so if you have some funds that you're able to do that, go online and um, there's, I'm sure there's places that you can donate or things that you can do to be able to do that. I, I think giving to others, stepping away from yourself is truly a, a blessing and it, and it will come back to you tenfold. Helping others will come back to you more than you could ever, ever imagine. So always help someone in time of need. Always do that. Um, it, you'll just be a better person all the way around for it. And you'll be amazed at what you can get when you help someone else. So that's truly, truly a blessing. Um, let's see, what's this say? You can learn different ways to wear a scarf. Hey, ladies, that's a really good one. You know, they have all those things. You can go online again on YouTube. I love YouTube. You can go on YouTube and it teaches you all the different ways to fold a scarf. That's something I've always wanted to learn how to do. I've never had time to do it. And you could learn how to do it. Guys, you could learn how to tie like a knot. You could do like the sailor's knot, you know, like you do you would tie a boat up and you could do learn how to do things like that if you want to do it, whatever. Um, so that would be kind of maybe something a little bit different. Um, try, this one's funny. Try moving in slow motion, you know, move in slow motion and then have a laugh at it. <laughs> you could, you could play a game with your kids, you know, have you ever played that red light, green light? You could do that in a slow motion and that's that would be a fun thing to do with the kids um let's see new lipstick i have a whole bunch of lipstick i mean i probably have a bag you know me i would love the bright pink red or lipstick but you could go try out the lipsticks and, and go through your lipsticks and get rid of the ones you don't like you know and uh 
and that that would be also a great thing. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else here that we missed. Is there anything that we might like to do? Stretching, you know, I think every day, if we're stuck at home, take a moment to start stretching um, and and moving and, and uh, bending your back and all, because I sit in the chair too much because I'm on, on to this. And so I tend to be at the computer a lot. Um, so, you know, you want to, I need to get up and stretch more often. I've been trying to do that more often. Um, I will tell you a secret that I have been doing that has helped me tremendously. I've been having trouble with my joints. Um, hello, I'm working. Let's see what's going to say. Hello. She says I'm working after I'm editing some pictures. Yay. She's a photographer. Flo is a wonderful, beautiful photographer. If you ever need anybody to take any pictures, she's right here locally um, in Clearwater and she's awesome. And so uh, she's, she's doing some editing on some pictures. So here's the thing with Flo. Okay, Flo, I'm going to say something about you. Flo didn't take pictures before, right? When I met her, she wasn't doing that. And now she's got this wonderful, beautiful hobby that she's gotten and she loves and she's good at it. And she's learned to, to now edit the pictures. She's, she's learned to do all kinds of different things with the pictures. So she's learned something from, from something of joy and she's creating um, actually, I think a benefit to families now because she does beautiful, beautiful pictures. So that's perfect thing. Uh, let's see, Christine here. Christine, thank you for that. I want to thank you. Um, Christine says, Christine, the perfect catch at gmail.com. She says, my neighbors and I text and set a time to see each other outside, of course, six feet apart. And it's nice to get outside and see and talk to another person. I think that's great. You know, Christine, I was watching on TV, you know, the people that are over in Europe and they're going out on their balconies, right? And so they want that connection still. You know, it's so important that we still have that connection with people. And that's why I thought I would go on tonight is because I needed it. I needed the connection. I didn't want to be home. You know, my dad is here, of course, but he has his dialysis. My dad does dialysis three days a, a week. And when he comes back on Fridays, he's, he's just, he's tired. He just, you know, eats and then goes to sleep. And here I find myself alone. And so I thought, you know, I, I don't really want to be alone. So I'm going to come on and we're going to talk about things that we can do together and um, share it and be together with everyone. So, yeah. So I, I thought really it was a great thing. So, Christine, thank you so much for sharing that with us. And and it's important. And those of you, um, I want you to, I'm going to put it up here. Christine, the perfect catch at gmail.com. So Christine actually is a dating coach. And so if you guys need any advice about dating, and she does stuff with us all the time. So I hope that you'll contact her there at Christine, the perfect catch at gmail.com. Just send her a message and, you know, let her know that you guys had connected with her here on, uh, on Facebook. So that's a, that's a great thing. And we're on YouTube. We're live YouTube on YouTube too. So I think she's on, actually on YouTube. So, you know, the thing here, here's the thing. Life is what we make it. And we can either listen to the news and get totally freaked out, right? Or we can listen to the news and be educated and know that it, this is just going to be temporary. And I think that's really, truly what the important thing. I'm like you, I get freaked out too. I was freaked out the other day when I realized I didn't have my groceries. I'm not going to have toilet paper. I'm, you know, all this kind of stuff. But here's the thing is it's just temporary, you know, and, um, and I have found going through probably one of the worst divorces of my life, one of the worst experiences that I felt, devastation alone, that I didn't, didn't know where my future was going to be. Now I know that it, it's just a temporary situation. It's just what I'm experiencing at that very moment is not what I'm going to be experiencing tomorrow. And so... We've talked about many things that you guys can do here. So, you know, guys, you can go out and clean your car. You know, um, I know I probably didn't share a lot of things for guys. We can go out and clean your car. Go wax your car, right? Make your car shiny and pretty. We love, we love that. Wash your wheels um, and wash your, your partner's car. Um, there's so many different things that we can do. There's so many different things we can do for other people. You know, if you live in an apartment complex, help your neighbor. 
you know, go out, go out and help them make sure that they have everything. My neighbors have been asking me, do you need anything? Do you have everything? Or are you okay? I mean, how awesome is that? You know, six feet away, <laughs> six feet away. We, we talk to each other, but you know, just be smart about what you do. Be kind about what you do. Love on your animals. Your animals will love you back. You know, be be a friend to a friend. Pick up the phone. Let's let's keep the contact going. Let's share on Facebook, um, and let's just let's just be the kind of humans that we truly want to be and what we want our friends to be. So we want to start here in our own in our own core, right? We want to start in our own place. And so if we can make ourselves better. If we can be friendlier, if we can be happier, if we can show other people love, then they will show it back to us. That's what it's all about. So I think I covered a lot of really cool things I think that you can do while you're hanging out. Um, and you're not just sitting, eating bonbons and watching TV, you know, but I think there's some things that we could actually, oh, here, organize your spice rack. How about that? You can go through, hey, Another thing you can go through is your cupboards and, and there's a lot of things in there that you that you could probably throw away, you know, I mean, dated food, things like that. You could probably do some of those kind of things and, and your spices is one. You can't keep your spices forever. So that's something you can kind of do. I did that a while back. Actually, what happened was is I had a roommate and she ripped me off and she took all of my uh, all of my old spices. So I, you know, I can be appreciative of that because I have new. <laughs> so, so there you go. You know, when when one door closes, another one opens. So, um, you know, you can clean up around the house. You can do various different things. I think we talked about most of the stuff. So I think that's it. If you guys come up with anything that you'd like to share that you're doing at home that you want to help other people. Oh, here, Christine said something else here. That's what she There are so many ways for singles to meet each other and get to know each other without meeting in person. I'm so happy to share my suggestions. You know, Christine, that is so right. Let's talk about that for just one second here before we before we get off the uh, off the show. So many people think that because we are kind of in lockdown that we can't necessarily um, still date, you know, still go out there and, um, and meet people. We can. We just have to do it differently, right? And so we can still use the dating sites. And there's still great dating sites out there. And our dating site, we, I'm so sorry. I wanted it to be up. And we're going to be having it up and uh, here shortly. Our, our Bonnie is working on it, our, our, our website developer. We have had our, our, our site's going to be so unique that it's, it's taken so much time to be able to do it properly. And so when it gets up, it's going to be really, it's going to be really be rocking. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. But there are so many things that you can do. But here, here's the thing here, here is the secret. If you guys want to know the secret of meeting the right person, I'm going to share it with you. And the secret is it's from within. If you truly want this wonderful person in your life, you have to start with yourself. You have to start with your core. And I think times like this, when we are under stress, when things are happening, that is the best time to really stop and reflect upon ourselves. And the more we can grow, the bigger person that we can be, the more honest we can be with ourselves, the more we can focus on ourselves and we can help other people and we can, we can really grow the center of our core. We can raise our vibration. And what will happen is the person that we truly need and want in our lives will appear and they will appear to us, but we have to put ourselves out there. And that is the secret. So we have to be able to, we can't expect to sit on the, on the sofa, watch television and think that magic person is going to step into our lives, you know, because they don't understand how magical we are. So as soon as we start letting the magic out, as soon as we start showing our magic, we start helping other people, we start the glow going. That's when that person will come into our lives, right? 
And so I think that's what we want to do. We really, truly want to do that. So we want to connect with wonderful people like Christine. And there's there's so many out there that we have on our shows on, on the Going Solo Network. So we have so many people. You want to connect with them. You want to listen to the what they have to say. And you want to grow from within. And that's the secret. When you grow from within, you will find that magical person. And uh, it will definitely happen for you. Well, listen, guys, I love you. And I hope that you enjoyed tonight. And I want to thank you for being with me because I didn't really want to spend Friday night by myself. So I do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this, um, this little show as much as I did. And so I gave you some tips on things that you could do around the house and you could do with other people. And, um, you know, just live your life the way you want to live it. Live it in the moment and live it the best that you can do. And um, just give thanks for, for all the wonderful things that we do have. So love you. And I hope I'll see you next time. We're going to do our shows next Thursday. So I hope you'll join us then. But um, And I might pop on again as, uh, as we keep uh, doing different things. So, And um, maybe if I make something crafty, I'll go it online and show you. <laughs> so anyhow, Flo, make sure you post your pictures, okay, so we can see them on your site. It would be nice to see that. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.